As I said earlier, I mean, they've added new sounds to the stocks here. You've got various options if you really like. And I think that, you know, having different sounds could be ideal if you're planning to have a separate sound for ES or for the NASDAQ, for the indices, or a specific internal that you would use either the tick or the trend here, which is pretty interesting to look at. You know, I think um, Tick Strike has done a great job here to simplify and to make it easier on a visual perspective. Uh, this way, they've added new stocks into the list. You've got crypto as well. I really enjoy the new version of Tick Strike here. As like I said previously, I kind of gave it a try before, and you know, I'm not a very auditive person, so. I personally tried other platforms that exist out there that kind of give you various sounds on when there's blocks, block orders coming in and, you know, some of the platforms have these included as well. Um, you know, I just didn't get a good feeling for it because I, I, I'm not very auditive. So uh, when it was making noise, I wasn't able to kind of like differentiate what the noise kind of really, get, what, what the noise really meant, you know. So now what I'm doing with Tick Strike is I'm putting basically one, si one sound for ES, one for NQ, and then I want to keep the stocks visual on the other side. What you're hearing now is basically Israel has shared intelligence over the past two weeks with the US and several European allies suggesting that Iran is taking technical steps to prepare to enrich uranium to 90% purity the level needed to produce a nuclear weapon. Uh, two U.S. sources briefed on the issue told Axios. So that news was coming from Financial Juice, which is actually the same uh, company. Uh, with Tick Strike, basically they have what they call the regular Tick Strike, which is a you know a basic version of it. You have S&P 500, crude, oil, and euro there, but with the new version and the panel, I totally believe it's going to make a difference for people like me who are, well, I'm pretty visual, so I, I like to see what stocks are doing, and I've kind of put them in a way where this panel, I don't really need it. I could put it on the side like this, and this way, I only have the major stocks that I want aligned here for my correlations. So this way I have, you know, various setups that I'm looking for, you know, so with tick strike, basically, you've got an opportunity to trade news, the spike that comes after the news, uh, you could be a momentum trader, you could be a breakout trader, you know, I'm planning to use tick strike more for confirmation and also trade management, you know, when to kind of look to cut when I see that the momentum has faded or died, how could I use that? And then I've spoken to some traders who are actually using it for aggression and divergence. So these are really key ways to be able to play around with tick strike and have, you know, some kind of a quick visual way to see what the overall market is doing and the internals of the other stocks. Um, the tick and the trend, I'm kind of still not using it. To, I, I think you could definitely find a way to play around with that. But for, for my trading, it's mostly going to be, you know, momentum correlations to see what the stocks are doing and how whatever the stocks are doing, how does that affect the indices. This is going to be really a cool experiment for myself. And I will come up with new ways to go around this and also share different videos on my training because I believe this is going to help me personally uh, validating certain trade setups. 
I think uh, this is going to be, you know, uh, it's going to really give a good way to see what the momentum flow and allow myself uh, to visually and maybe even auditively because I mean hearing what NQ is doing and then maybe noticing what uh, at what time I should kind of look to get into a trade kind of like use it as a trigger you know and then you know is it confirming with time and sales and validating certain prices on the tape to, to see the rotations you know I'm a firm believer of having tools uh, on your screen that you know basically allow you to to make good um, effective trading decisions and I think tick strike is probably going to be one key element in my trading where uh, I think it, I'm going to have to Im implement and really you know base off my trades and know when to enter or when to kind of not uh, continue with my bias because so sometimes we're all stuck with biases that we could keep and that could definitely hurt in in our trading you know, it's all about implementing this to your trading style. Uh, let's face it, what moves the markets? You know, we need to really see aggression on one side to have decent moves, right? So when we're trading, we basically have, you know, mark. you have to take decisions and to be able to cut the trade, to take the loss, take the profit, or even, you know, in instances, not even having a trade, not trading at all is also... A good thing so I'm kind of going to have to see how I could put this in perspective and kind of validate uh, this with um, with tick strike and I think this is going to make my trading to another level and especially going into 2022 I believe the fact that having news you know and the news being affecting the markets we've noticed how many times now we've got the new Omicron variant coming out and all that this is all going to be uh, a scalpers a traders paradise that's how i feel so uh, stay tuned we'll we'll all kind of experiment this and i will definitely give you guys more uh, detailed uh, videos where i share um, what i see and how i use this you know i was discussing with uh, one of the traders and he said you know i'm gonna actually use I, I he basically started using tick strike and he's using it as a trigger you know how what the market's gonna do and he kind of gets that feeling of okay the market's setting up for a, a big move here and you know a big move from one market to another is very relative because an ES you can get 8 10 12 ticks and that could be a big move right so I think this is going to be a simple way to validate you know the pace of market um, use it for correlations you know because correlations throughout the day they, they do change they do shift and intraday and also day by day these are all you know things that I already use in my trading but I think having something in a visual manner like this was going to really help me interpret as, as well the volatility how volatile the market is and to be able to Put my entries and my orders at areas that I'm noticing on the tape and this way um, you know if it's more of a balanced market I could trade it in this manner if it's more aggression I'll have to be a bit more aggressive and if it's not going in my favor well I'll have to look to scratch that trade So I just wanted to show you guys about a bit of the sounds that I had here and also the market context. So I mean, how would tick strike help you uh, as an order flow trader? Uh, are you able to, you know, spend that deep concentration on the dome and the tape and to, you know, maybe cut all the different charts that you have on your screen? And that's basically what I am planning to do. I'm planning to just keep this as a regular chart on one screen and then have perhaps a footprint of ES and you know and other than that I just going to be basically watching 
dome and tape to validate prices in areas that I'd like to trade. And if I just put this down here, this is the core of my trading, right? The tape, what's it doing? The rotations, what kind of volume is coming into the market? You know, you could have uh, a charts where you could be looking at some kind of a support level for one of your basic trade um, stocks that you trade, like Apple or Amazon, and then you could have tick strike with all the, you know, the, the, the lighting coming up. As you can see here, we've got pretty much everything in the red, and the markets are actually ticking lower. So I'm kind of like keeping it simple for myself. Don't want to make it too complicated because I think the point is to not really complicate things. Uh, with NASDAQ, what I'm planning to do, if I bring back the the panel on in a very quick manner here, I just want to keep the NASDAQ as one sound, which is string, and ES, I'm going to keep it as snap. I'm testing to put everything at high sensitivity here. So I just want to see when I put it at high sensitivity, and I think I've met several other traders um, who use this and they keep it at high sensitivity but i'm going to play around with the, the settings to see you know i guess again it it will most likely validate certain things that I, uh you know when i'm trading but i think having it at high sensitivity will kind of keep my eyes ready to look for a trade and uh, like i said um i used to kind of be annoyed by sounds because i've used different other platforms and uh having you know, I, I, I didn't really think of having just one sound for NASDAQ, one for ES, and then, you know, not having sounds for the other stocks will kind of like only limit the sounds that I'm using at two. And again, whatever works for you, right? Because maybe you like to have sounds and you want to see what Google is doing and what Amazon is doing, or if uh, Tesla is moving, I want to be, you know, trading the markets, depending on what your trade style trading style is i think at the end of the day it's a relative analysis of the flow that we're seeing here you know so if we get into the technicals what is tick strike it's basically a relative analysis of the flow that you're seeing at the moment uh, really it's not based on a percentage or a number or of volume that's coming in it's really designed to look for a trading strength you know relative to that environment at that moment and it's uh, it's an algo basically that they've built that's basically detecting and learning all, all at the same time and giving levels of this into you know tick strike here with the the coloring and this way i think amar hussein if you go into the videos on his website he explains a little bit of all of this so don't hesitate to contact him uh, you know, depending on what methodology you're using or what kind of trading you, you, you're you doing, uh, Amar uh, at Tick Strike is basically aiming an objective to kind of like not have uh, Tick Strike give you a buy, sell kind of thing. It's basically whatever trading methodology you're using, Tick Strike is going to be effective to you in your trading so that's the main goal that amar put in place when he founded tick strike and we he kind of you know revamped the tool uh within the last six months and to be honest me having used the old version i kind of didn't really like it but this new version is really really a beautiful way to you know visually visually see the market internals and see what the stocks are doing I think for me, I'm going to basically uh, like using it for momentum and also correlations and uh, we're definitely going to experiment it all together. Coming back to divergence, I mean, you know, if uh, you see a NASDAQ going up and you don't see all these stocks kind of lighting green here, I think uh, you've got a divergence there and, you know, our sellers coming in, you know, and then uh, if there's the market that's trading near the top uh, you know I'd like to see if there's some kind of a continuation that comes up and really having the fang stocks as they we call them the Facebooks the Amazons Netflixes and Google's you know I put Microsoft Apple Netflix Tesla Amazon here 
I think PayPal, Adobe, and NVIDIA. Uh, just having really the top 10 holdings of NASDAQ really, I think, will make, um, for me, for, for the time being, I think that's totally going to be enough. And then here, as you see, the market's all turning into red and, you know, not really major follow through coming from the stocks. So a good example there. So to resume again, I'm keeping the sensitivity level at high and I'm having one one sound for ES, one for NQ. And I think that's going to be a good way to manage uh, tick strike for now on my screen because I am a firm believer that, believer that on your screen, if you're able to keep, you know, the basics and have stuff that helps you in your trading decisions, that will definitely be an important tool. And, you know, this is like an, a, a trader has to adapt and kind of use tools that are, you know, useful for his trading. And again, each trading style or methodology could be different and you could definitely incorporate tick strike with whatever methodology that you have. Yeah, so I'm going to be looking into how I could, you know, see how I could see the momentum when the market is all at the highs and at the lows. And, you know, this way, uh, no matter what I do, <laughs> I've been noticing that, um, you know, having three screens is pretty limited. I mean, <laughs> whatever you want to look at, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I don't want to have a neck strain because my neck is really getting <laughs> stiffer and stiffer day by day as a trader. I think this is going to be just an easy way to have one, you know, tool on my screen here. And uh, let's see how that goes. So quickly, this is Financial Juice. They have a basic tick strike here that you could also use, but that's not the one I'm using. You basically download a separate link for tick strike and you're able to, you know, if you ever want additional videos around it, there is some good stuff here uh, on tick strike here. Uh, all you have to do is just go in and set up the download uh, inst instructions and there's also a free trial that you can give it a try at. Uh, I'm really pleased in using it. As you can see here, everything is kind of turning into red. Um, there's slightly a momentum here. So let's see how the market does here. If you guys want more information, don't hesitate to contact Amar Hussein at Tick Strike. And he also is one of the founders of Financial Juice. Hope this helps. Uh, like I said, we'll continue experimenting this and we'll give I will give you guys more details. So please do stay tuned. Please hit the sub subscribe button and also like button because uh, it definitely helps. Hope this helps guys. Happy trading. And I also want to wish you all uh, happy New Year's and happy holidays. Uh, all the best for 2022.